Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. It's Thursday, so we're playing Dawn of the Zeds. And we are on the Walking Zeds level, which is the second to the last. Uh, the only thing that really changes about this is we have now orange colored cards to put in here. Um, that includes all the heroes. So all heroes are available now. The other big thing is we have a new track. You flip the board and it has the laboratory track or the sewer track or whatever you call it. Tunnel track. Now, the tunnel track comes with these red diamond security guards. So they're extra people who can help us. Um, the thing with the red diamond thing is heroes cannot go in there unless they have um, a red diamond logo like if you see I have Sheriff Hunt again and he has a red diamond here so he can traverse down here freely but the rest of my heroes don't have that and they cannot traverse down there so right now the only ones that can traverse the tunnels are the red diamond security people and Sheriff Hunt and you can activate the red diamond security people whenever you want they're not defiant other than that, uh, it's basically the same. The The way the track moves is different um, for zombies. Uh, we'll get into that if they ever start moving. That's a pretty neat little mechanic. They can get lost in there. They can just suddenly appear, that kind of stuff. And some of the orange cards now will um, include the tunnel track on their cards. Okay, so um, again, uh, we're still playing with the new expansion, so I have the refugee rumors and the, the railroad here. Now, railroad will not affect the tunnel track, okay? I have seven supplies, three ammo. <clears throat> okay, so for my heroes, I have Sheriff Hunt again. Again, let's you haven't seen anything he's once per action phase may spend his leadership action marker to give one civilians or refugee unit in a space on or next to him one free action place leadership marker on this card to keep track of when you use this ability he can make a gunfire attack from two spaces away but with a minus one penalty each time he receives a hit you roll a die on a four five or six that hit is canceled and in every hand-to-hand -hand combat he's allowed one reroll here's his token we have el toro loco <laughs> He's pretty strong. When he launches a hand-to-hand -hand attack on a Zed's unit or Zeb's mop, you roll a die. One through three, conduct, conduct that attack normally. On a four, five, or six, that Zed unit mob suffers one hit and retreats. No actual combat takes place, so there is no infection increase. This does not work against Super Zeds. He takes four hits to eliminate, and his gunfire attacks are made at half strength. He's not a good with the gun. We have Miss Mary Hauser. She's one of the newer ones. Um... Uh, while she's in a town space, you receive a saving roll for each ammo you lose or spend for any reason. On a roll of five or six, the ammo is not lost or spent. She can occupy a hospital staff office space. While their units discharged from hospital during the action phase, receive an immediate free action. Any unit she is stacked with, including those in town center, receive a plus one strength to their hand-to-hand -hand combat. And her gunfire attacks receive a one to the right shift. She rolls an additional die for all gunfire attacks, selecting which dice to use to determine the outcome. In addition, the first gunfire attack she makes on any turn costs zero ammo. And we have one we haven't seen yet. Uh, Alyssa Darling, she's from the basic stuff. She has this Zen token. When she enters a space with Zeds or Raiders units, or vice versa, roll a die. One, engage in normal hand-to-hand -hand combat. Two, either move back one space or fight normally. Three, four, five, or six, attack the Zeds or Raiders, even during the Zeds or 4R phase, with an assassin hand-to-hand -hand strike. There's a two-column shift to the right, no infection increase, no terrain shift. She does not take damage. She may, however, have to retreat depending on the combat result. So she's pretty good on that. She gets a rugged roll each time she receives a hit on a five or six. The hit is canceled once per turn. When you play a hold for later fate card, she receives a character action to spend on her unit only, usable only during that turn's action phase. Place the Zen marker on this card to keep track of when you have used this ability. 
And we have the Farmingdale Furies as our heroic civilian unit. Uh, they cannot make gunfire attacks. Each time they receive a hit on a 4, 5, or 6, the hit is canceled, but they are pretty strong. There are 6. So I have a 3 unit here, 3 unit here, 2. I have a 4 regular in the town center, 2, and a 2. Not very good. We have a 6 Zeds here on the suburbs track, uh, 4 on the forest track. Six on the mountain track, four on the highway, and two in the lap. Now, uh, we can do research, but I don't have anybody that's able to do research right now. So, um, none of mine are any type of scientist or laboratory unit. They're all either law enforcement or civic. So, I can't do any research right now. So, there's that. So let's go ahead and get started and let's see what we're going to get. We have Panic is Self-Preservation. 4R, well we don't need to worry about that. Infection, we don't need to worry. Eat one. Okay. Alright, we're going to eat one. Alright. Zed's all. Okay, so all Zed's are moving. One, 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 and one. Now the tunnel limit, tunnel, all tunnel spaces have a stacking limit of one. Okay, you have to remember that. So you can't have like a mob down in the tunnel. Start space and TC basement. Okay, is two. Okay, so the start space you can have two, and the basement you can have two. And the catacombs has no limits or mobs. And these are these spaces. But that's because if you, when they move, um, if you roll a th one through three, they, they move normally. You have to, when they, if they're activated and they have to move, you have to roll a die. If a four, five, or six, they remain there. A four, or five, they remain there. And if you roll a six, they get lost and they can pop out anywhere. Okay, we have two actions. Alright, during this phase, all move actions towards town center by units adjacent to Zed's units are free. Well, that's really not going to affect anything, so, yeah. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Get stocked up. I know I probably want to build some barricades, that's for sure. Ah, uh, six there. Well, I can wait there. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Um, I'm going to have, use my leadership ability. Sheriff Hunt is going to have this unit right here. And we're going to move him. Okay. And we're going to try to get them up there. So they can move. Uh, let me see how many spaces they can move. The security guards can use three. They move two. Yeah. So we're going to go one, two. Okay. So they're moving them that way. Um. Whew. And I have two actions. And I think I'm going to spend one action and two supplies. And I'm going to build a barricade here. So let's do that. And I'll spend my second action and two more supplies. And I'm going to build a barricade up here. Or there. I guess I'll go downtown here on the highway. Okay. That's it. Alright, <laughs> not a great turn, but okay. Next turn, fortune favors the prepared. No 4R, uh, we have to eat one. Uh, highway and one any other. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, so we're going to have, I'm going to go ahead and move them as the any other, and we're going to have a fight right here. So let's go ahead and raise the infection. Alright, so we have times two, but a two column shift will make it equal to. And it's 11, so equal to. So, um, yeah, this little thing replaces the thing on the board. You get a little fold out thing to replace the thing on the board. It's a little handy. Alright, so three and one. So we take off the defiant on them. And they take one hit. 
These guys take three, which is going to flip them and put them there. So that was not too bad. And we only get one action. It's not really that good. Um, at the beginning of this phase, then each hero or hero civilian in a named space may conduct one free forge action. Okay. Wow, that's actually really good. Okay, we'll start with the... We'll start with all them. I mean, they can all do forge actions. Okay, we get a six. So we're in the town center. We're going we're gonna to gain the ammo. That was Sheriff. El Toro Loco, he's a five. And he's going to gain a supply. Uh, Hauser. Two, nothing. Alyssa Darling, uh, nothing. And the Farming Dale Furies, uh, nothing. Okay, so that didn't help. We have one action, and I think what I'm going to do is uh, I need some supplies. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to forge one more time. Shoot. All right, nothing. So there's it. And I'm going to use my player action, and we're going to do that again. Ah, terrible rolls. Okay, so nothing. All right, well that'd be the end of that turn. Not that good. All right, so let's do the next card, and we have Zombie Tsunami. One for R. Infection still no. We're not doing anything. We have to eat one. Zed's all. At the beginning of this phase, place a new Zed unit on the start space of every track. Yeah. Okay, I already tell this game's not gonna go good. So here, 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 oof, and here. Okay, and now everybody's going to move. So we're gonna have some attacks. So let's go ahead and start here. So we have a twelve oof, on a three. Okay. We do get a terrain shift, however, that is going to be Zed's advantage. And we roll a 9. So it's 2 and 2, and the Zeds retreat. So the Zeds are going to retreat. Let's read the infection up one. We take 2. And our hero unit takes 2. Okay. And that's it for that track. We'll go ahead and move these up one, and then they will attack. So let's send the infection level up again. That's a four and two. We have no terrain shift, so it's Zed's times two. Well, actually, Zed's advantage. Okay, that's another nine. So two and two. So again, these guys will retreat and take two. And these guys will flip. Okay. Up here, uh -huh. take that defiant off him. All right, well that's uh, <laughs> Zed's times three, but with a column shift one to the right, so it's going to be Zed's times two. And that's a four, and that's not going to be any good. So four hits, one, two, three, four. They're dead. These guys are dead. So let's roll and see about their saves. Okay, well, the civilians unit did get saved. Let's put an EKG on them. And, of course, the uh, infection goes up one. And the refugees. No. And they are just devoured. And the infection level goes up two. Okay. This is, will move up. And we're going to put one chaos token here at Lefty's Pass. Okay, well that was terrible. Alright, we have here again, so this two is going to move there. We got a ten, so it's equal, but with a two shift, so it's human times two, three to nothing, we kill them. No problem. So they're dead. And this unit will move up here. Alright. 
and then this unit will move here. Of course, we have to put a chaos token there. I forgot to do that. And then this unit will move here. Okay, and we get three actions. So we got to do something good, but we're on level two now. Three actions. Let's see what we can do. Well, I am going to spend one action to move these guys here. And then I'm going to move Sheriff Hunt here. And then I'm going to use his leadership ability, and we're going to move them to the Lucky Strike Mine. Okay. Um, yeah, so I need to put that down to two. Where else? We're going to be in trouble here, there's no doubt. Well, we're probably going to be in trouble there or in there. I got to move some people, man. Um, I'm going to move, I'm going to spin action and I'm going to move these guys to Dr. Martus's office. So that's another action. Um, let's have the female Furies go to the nuclear plant. That's the last action. And let's spin our player action, and El Toro Loco can go somewhere. I just don't know where I want to send him. Um, let's send him. He can move three. One, two, three. There. And that's basically it for my turn. I can't do anything else. So that is the end of that turn. Okay. Next event. You gotta be kidding. 2 4 R. Well, we are nothing. No infection roll. Eat. Well, okay. We rolled a three, so we'd have to eat. Zed's all. At the beginning of this phase, place a new Zed unit on the starting space of every track. And remove all hit markers from Zed's units. That's not very good. So we'll remove one from there. One from there. And let's go ahead and put Zed's units on the start of every track. Now I can't obviously do this one here because there's a stacking limit. <clears throat> so that's okay. Put that one there. That one, we'll go that way. That way. That way. Alright. And we're going to get one action. Okay. And all the Zeds of course are going to move. So let's start down here. Okay, so boom, we're gonna do up the infection one. And again, it is Zed's times three. However, we're gonna get a two column shift to the right, so it's just gonna be Zed's advantage. And that's an eight. Okay, two and two again. <laughs> so they're gonna retreat, they're gonna take two. However, these guys are gonna take two. They are no longer def they're, they're fleeing. They're still defiant, actually, because they never occupied the same space. Let's see what I do with these. They don't make the save, so they're dead. Okay, and these guys are just sitting ducks. Okay, up here, we're going to have an attack, so let's move this up. Okay, so that's three, but we're going to get one to shift, so that's Zed's times two. That's an 11. And that's actually pretty good. That's two and two. So we're going to move them back. They're going to take two damage. However, they're going to move here, and they're going to move here. However, these guys, i got to roll for their save. And I got it. So they can go to the hospital. And we can put an AKG marker on them. We have to raise the infection up one. Oh boy, okay. Alright. Up here. <laughs> Let's move these guys. They're going to have an attack. So we move the infection up again. And that's going to be Zed's times one. But a column shift is going to make it equal two. And we got the ten. So it's three and one. So these guys will flip. And we're going to have one hit for our boys here. And then this one, of course, will move here. And these guys will move here. 
Okay, down here, this is going to be a problem. We're going to have an eight. He's going to move and go up. Z times three, but a two column shift to the right. And that is a six. So one and three. Okay, uh, these guys are going to get hit once. All right, as one, flip it, two, three. Ugh. So we got to see if they make their save. They do. So they're going to the hospital. Let's put an EKG marker on them. Boy, this is just getting out of hand. Okay. However, um, they did retreat. So they'll be here. And of course, since they went to the hospital, yeah. Okay, and then the tunnel track. Okay, they're gonna go here, they're gonna go here, and they're gonna go there. All right, so we have one action only. That is horrible action. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to move El Toro Loco here. All right, and then as my player action, um, I'm going to have the female Furies move here. Okay, and then for my leadership, I'm going to have Sheriff Hunt tell those guys there to shoot at the zombies. And we're going to spend the ammo to do that. And we get a nine. They're at a four. They do two hits. Okay. And that is going to be the end of that turn. Next event. Airborne Contagion Rumors, 1-4-R. Okay, well, still we have a bunch of defiant guys, so, hmm. No infection roll. Okay, we have to eat two. Now, that's the problem because we are down to one supply, so somebody's going to have to take a hit. Who do I have to have take a hit? I'm going to have this guy take a hit. Okay. All Z units remove, and we're going to have one action. No above ground move actions are allowed after this phase. Okay. Well, that's terrible. All right. So, all Z units. Well, we know these guys are going to move here. That's going to kill these refugees. We're going to put a chaos token there. And we have to raise the infection, which is going to be a super Z outbreak. Minus six, so let's go down to seven. And let's see where we're going to have a super Z. Play this card. Uh, highway. Okay, the has to go on the start track. Okay, if possible, select two player units in the same space. They cannot perform at the bar. Okay, well, it's fine. However, uh, let me see. When you hold for later. Okay, no, I can't play that. All right, so there's that. Okay, up here we're gonna have a fight. Move the infection up. And these guys are nine. El Toro local is six. Let's see what happens. We have to. We can roll. Well, hold on before we move the infection level up. Six. That judge unit suffers one hit and retreats. No actual combat takes place. Okay, so actually that's actually pretty good. Now they're going to flip. So El Toro local repelled them, and this guy cannot move forward. Okay, all right, now we have here, and this is a eight, so it's Zeds times two, 
but we're gonna get a shift, so it's just gonna be Zeds times one. Oh, five. That's not very good. One and three. Okay. Uh, they're gonna take a hit, which is going to actually kill these guys. And we have to raise the infection up there. However, they are going to move here. They have to take three. They are going to die. Let me see if I can do their save. Yes, I want, this is a four strong unit, so I'm going to take one of these guys out. They're going to send there and go to the graveyard. Yeah, it's fine. And we're going to put a chaos marker here. And then this unit is going to move up. And of course, we have to raise the infection level up. Okay. <laughs> Here, let's see what we have. All right, so uh, we have to raise the infection level again. We have a 13. So it's Zeds times 2, but we get a two column shift to the right. So it's equal 7. Two and two, but the Zeds retreat. So we're going to flip these. And we're going to see if they take a hit. We can roll. Ah. Okay, hit is canceled. Hit is canceled, so they take no damage. And then this guy can't move forward. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen with him. Is he going to move? He is. He's going to move normally. So we're going to have a fight there. So let's raise that. So that's... Human times two plus a column shift advantage. And we get a six. So it's three and one. So he's going to take a hit. They are going to um, flip. They're going to move into there. And we'll have to roll for every one. He's going to move there. And that's it. So that is their turn. All right, we have one action. That's not very much. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, man. All right, I have... One action. Oh, man. Um, okay. I'm going to have Sheriff Hunt. He's going to shoot... At those edge units up there. He rolls a nine. He has a five. Three hits. So he flips them. Which is good. Okay. And that is my one action. And then I have a player action. And I'm thinking about... I got a forge. Let's have somebody forge... I need supplies, and we get supplies, so we're going to get some supplies. <coughs> okay, and that's it for that turn. Let's do our next event card. The doctor is in. No 4R, no infection, no eat. Okay, Zeds, highway, mountain, and the security track. Okay, in one action. All right, so let's do the highway again with the highway track. So we're going to have a fight here. We're at 10. So it's going to be Zeds times one, but we do get a two column shift to the right. So it's human advantage. And we rolled an eight, three and one. So we're going to kill them. We're going to take a hit, but we can roll for it. Okay, and they're going to suffer that hit normally. So they're going to take one hit. But that's it. But this guy will move forward. Okay. The mountain track. All right. So, oh, man, we, have a, we had a 12 there. All right. So, oops. Hold, before I do that, I was supposed to do, at the end of this phase, immediately 13 and conduct an out. Right, check. Five. Okay. And then it would have went up one because of that fight there. Let's see. Where are the Super Zeds are at? Player's choice. Okay, I'll take that. Um, I'll put them here at the forest. 
Place the Raiders Bubba's band unit on the start space of the above ground track with the fewest Zeds unit. Okay. Bubba's band. Let's find Bubba's band. Okay. Uh, with the fewest Zeds units. That is two, two, one. So we'll have to go suburbs. Okay. There are Raiders. Bubba's band moves one space per turn during the four towards the sound center. It's town center. Oh, alright. So, does your Zen? That's a hold for later card. Okay. And if we're, okay, so we've done that. Now we're back up to doing this track. So let's go ahead. Alright, so we're going to have an, an infection because Sheriff Hunt is fighting these guys right here. However, he is human. Advantage. But he gets a reroll. And that's 12. So human advantage 12, 4, and 0. He kills them, no problem. Okay, and then this group will move one there. All right, and then the red diamond track. So we got to roll individually here. We got to see what these units individually do. So we'll start with this one. Okay, they're going to remain there. And this one, they're going to move normally. So we're going to have a fight, and it's still human advantage, but we get a column shift to the right. So it's human times two. Ooh, four. Two and two. Now they're still going to retreat. So it's going to be one, two. And then this unit right here is going to move in there as well. Okay. And that's it. And we get our one action. Ugh. That was horrible. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and spin that action. I'm going to move him here. For my player action, I'm going to do a gunfight attack with Sheriff. And he rolls a five. And he does two hits. So I'm going to do two hits with those guys. And that's all I can do. Okay, next card. Brains. Ugh. Raise the infection by three. Okay, one, two. Yikes. Okay, so... We're going to have a Super Zeds. All right, well, this at least it's going down some now. Okay, so let's see where the Super Zeds are going to go. The suburbs. Okay, they're starting there with the Raiders. Actually, they would go there, but so we'll put them there. Okay, play this card. All right, place the bridge collapse marker on the Farmingdale. All right, yeah, that's we've seen this one before. So, I have to try and repair this. Okay. All right. Okay. So we've done that. All tracks activate with each Zed unit advancing one. However, all right. So all tracks activate. So these guys will activate. And this barricade is gone. These guys will activate. And let's put a chaos marker here. Okay, up here, uh, El Toro Loco is going to fight. So let's raise the infection unit. Well, let's first find out what he happens. Okay, he rolls a six. So actually what's going to happen is, is they're going to take a hit, and they are going to retreat, 
And that means he can't advance, but they can. Okay. All right. Down here, <coughs> excuse me, let's raise our infection. And they're going to attack. And we're human. Advantage. And we'll get a reroll. And we got a 10. So, three to nothing. So, one and then times two, and then they move back. Okay, here, we're gonna have an attack. So it's six, and six is equal, but we have a human time uh, terrain, two times two terrain shift. That's a seven. So it's three and one. So let's do three to this one, and Let's see, roll for that hit. They don't take the hit, but we do have to do the infection level up. Okay. Now these guys. This one first. Okay, they're going to move normally, so let's raise the infection. We have human advantage times two, and then times three, actually, because of the shift. Seven. Three to zero. So we kill that unit. Okay, this unit now, let's roll and see what happens with it. Okay, he's going to move normally, so raise infection. Three. All right, so it's going to be equal to. Oh, my goodness. That was bad. That was real bad. Oh, man, equal to. Ooh. Okay, so they're not going to take any damage. <laughs> These guys are going to take four. We might can do our save. We cannot, so they are dead. And we lost the red diamond security. And then these guys will move one more time. These guys we got to roll for, and they move normally. And let's put a chaos marker there. Okay, this is not good. And then we have to do another event card, so let's do that. It takes a village, two on the 4R. Okay, so they're moving. Let's see. Okay, they're moving one space. Bubba's banned. No other refugees will be need to move. We have to roll for infection. We rolled a seven. That's good because we're under seven, so no infection. We have to eat one. All right. Oh, at the beginning of this play, place one villager, refugee, or civilians with a new regular Zed's track. Well, that's terrible. That's that's gonna hurt me. Villagers, refugees. Okay. Um. Yikes. We'll we'll do this one. We have to replace these with a. Place or place you in a hospital on a, okay, well, I'm not going to do that, so they're going to die. So we have to raise infection by two. Let's get a unit here. And this is a five. So we're going to have to fight. El Toro Loco has to fight them normally. Oh, six times five. Okay, we still have the advantage. Okay, so that's no problem there. And then we get a column shift, so we're human times two, and I rolled a four. That is horrible. Two and two. So two. So what's going to push these back? Two. Yikes. One, two, and he flips. Okay. Okay, and then we have the this track here so let's see if they move they remain there so they're not moving they're going to move normally into there okay then the mountain track is going to move let's raise the infection up and Sheriff Hunt is going to fight these guys and he rolls a seven and we are 
human times two, three, and one. Okay, that's gonna kill these guys. Let's see if we can be tough and negate the hit. No, so he's gonna take one hit. Okay, and then we get two actions. Okay, so I'm moving Sheriff Hunt here for one action. Okay. Another action, I'm going to spin an ammo, and these guys are going to shoot. They rolled a seven. They do one damage, so they're actually going to flip these guys. Okay. And then, for my player action, we're going to forage. And we don't get anything. That's terrible. Okay, and that's basically it for that turn. Next event, Forest Knight Assault. Two on the 4R. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead right here. We're going to have an attack here. These, these guys are going to attack, so let's do the infection level up one. And they actually have the advantage. Three, that is terrible. So they had human advantage, and then uh, one column shift. So two and two. So they actually make these guys retreat. They're going to flip, but these guys are going to take two damage. Because they're leapers. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Leapers. Leapers don't do... I don't think leapers... I don't think you get terrain shifts with the leapers. Yes, no terrain shifts. So it's going to be. It was. Six. It was just human advantage. And I rolled a three. So they will retreat. Actually, the Raiders are going to retreat. That changes everything. These guys are just going to take one. And the Raiders are going to take three damage one, two, and flip. Yee. Okay, roll for infection. Seven. Okay. We're going to have a Zed's outbreak at the tunnel. Okay, so here we go. I can put them here. Okay, Dr. Martus, make another fate draw to determine where this event occurs and roll the die for each chaos space on that faded track. Okay. The highway. Well, we got lucky. There is none of that. Then place a new Zed unit on the start space of every track. Eee. <laughs> Terrible, man. Okay. So we're going to have one here. Have one here. Have one here. Here. And here. Okay. And then, <clears throat> highway. Hold for later. Play during your hero's move action game. Plus three movement points. These movement points can only be spent. Okay. But I'm going to play my Zen. It's only when I play it. So, okay. Well, we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay. Eat. We have to roll. And this is going to be a problem. Three. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I should have took them out of the hospital. They're, they're worthless, so I'm going to just sacrifice. Okay, so we're all right on that. All right, at the beginning of this phase, on the forest track? Yep. Plus infection per Z unit on the forest track. There's one, two, three, four, five, six units on the forest track. So we're going to ten. Place a new. I can't during that. I can't do that. Stacking limit. Okay. Defending units receive no terrain shifts this phase, and we're going to get two action. Okay. So the only fight we're going to have here is four. Well, let's roll the die. Three. It's going to be a normal attack. Oh 
my god. Zed's advantage, I rolled a three. Three hits. Okay. No damage to them. Do I save El Toro Loco? I do. He can be saved. So he's going to go here. They're going to move up. They're going to move up. They're going to move up. And we're going to put a chaos marker in that space. We're going to raise infection. Oh boy, that was terrible. And two actions. Okay. I have no supplies, so I have to get supplies. Don't get supplies. Oh, I can restore order on that. I was supposed to do that last turn, so we'll put that at 12. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this. I'm going to get three extra movement points for somebody. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go spin for her one, two, three, four. I'm going to play that. Alright, and then I'm going to do her assassin strike. So let's do that. Three. Attack the Zeds or Raiders. When assassin, there is a two. No, no range. Okay. She does not take damage. Okay. So I rolled an eight. So three goes into seven twice. And I rolled an eight. So it's one and two. She would have to retreat, which is fine. But we do do one damage to these guys, so we'll do that. And she takes no damage from that. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's see. I have another move action. Alright, so I'm going to... No forge is no good. And my last forge no good okay so we're looking pretty grim okay next turn mine explodes well that's great one on the 4R okay so we're gonna move here again <laughs> and this is going to cause a Super Zed's outbreak and we're going to go down to eight, I mean five. And we're going to figure out where the Super Zeds are going to go. Hold for later. The mountain track. Well, okay. So the Zeds, Super Zeds are going to go here. Hold, play to eliminate anyone in Zed's unit as it enters town. Okay. All right. So we're going to have a fight there. It is... Zed's advantage equal to <laughs> five. Okay, one and two, and they have to retreat. These guys are dead. These guys take one damage. So the, the Bob's band dudes kaput. They didn't make it. Okay, so they're gone. <laughs> no infection roll, no eat. At the beginning of this phase, check the mind space, okay? Any unit there suffers one hit and immediately retreat. Alright, let's see if I can roll for that. Yes, so he's not going to take any damage, but he has to retreat. No unit can enter that space for the rest of the turn. Place the no entry marker on there. Okay. Alright. Alright, so the mountain track, he can't go in there, so they move. The uh, suburbs track is down here. So we're going to have a fight. Okay, so it's tw 3 goes into 12. It's raising infection. It's 3, but we're going to get a, just a Zed's times 2 advantage. That's 9. 1 and 2. So we got to take 2 hits, so we'll flip. 
and they'll retreat. These guys will retreat with them, and they got to take one hit. So we'll flip these guys, and we got to put a chaos marker there now. These guys will move, and these guys will move. Okay, and now the highway track, and we're again, we're down here, five, but we have human advantage times one, and two, so human times three. That's 11. That's four hits to their nothing. So we're going to wipe them out. And we're going to flip these guys who've turned really tough. And then these guys will move. And of course, we raise the infection up for that. We get two actions. Okay, so let's see what we need to do. I got to forge, man. I got to get supplies. I got to get ammo. I'm in big trouble if I don't do that. Um... I'm going to retreat Sheriff 1. Okay. And then he forge. Now, that's it. And I need to forge again. God, come on. I can't get any supplies. Okay, and that's it. That's all I can do. I have no supplies, no ammo. I'm in serious trouble. Next turn. Shh. I know they're out there. One on the 4R. Okay, so these guys... They're trouble, man. The bridge. Let's see. All right. Players, units ready. Can I enter space? You may spend one action to flip that marker to its fairy side, allowing you unit, but they must seize that movement. Okay. Yeah, I should have did that. Okay. So let's do that. So they will flee there. I spent an action to do that. I'll, I'll just lose one of my four things. No infection. Eat, we have to roll. Okay, so we rolled less, so people have to take some hits. Okay, he's going to take a hit. She'll take a hit. I mean, this is looking horrible. Start spaces only. Three actions. Okay. I have no start spaces, so I guess they're not going to move. And we have three actions. Okay. Um, we can take this off. Okay. Um, forge. Let's forge, man. Come on. No. Yes, I get some supplies. Get some more supplies. Or I get an ammo. So I got one of each. That was basically my three actions. And I'm going to move Sheriff Hunt back up there for my final action. Okay. Hey. All right, next turn. National Guard arrives. Immediately make a fate draw and place the National Guard. Okay, during the action phase, play during the action phase. Let's see, that's a whole for Okay, place a new regular on your toy. Okay, that's pretty good. The mountain track. So let's put the National Guard on the mountain track. Right here. All right. The National Guard, blah, blah. Draw the next event card. Okay. Hold for later. So we got to do next event card. Where are they coming from? One on the 4R. So these guys will move here. No infection. We have to roll for eat. Three. Okay, we're fine. Zed's all. At the beginning, place a new Zed unit on every village space that is Zed's controlled. Apply the stacking limit necessary. Move all hit markers from Zed's units. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay, on every village space. Okay. Apply the stacking limit if necessary. Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. 
okay stacking limit pushes these guys down here and we put one here okay stacking limit will actually put these guys down to the starting space stacking limit here and no village there and we don't have any on the tunnel track okay all Zed's moves and we're gonna get one action okay let's start <laughs> let's start down here so we're gonna have a fight here let's put the infection up to eight okay five which is heads times three four hits these guys are dead I can try to save but you know what I'm not going to okay these guys will move here they will move here and they will move there okay <laughs> up there Alyssa Darling let's roll for her thing okay she can do the assassin strike six so that's times two four Ugh. okay they take no no damage and she has to retreat so they're gonna move here let's put a chaos marker there these guys are gonna move here they're gonna move there and they move up one okay let's do this track sheriff here said it's times three but we get a train shift seven I'm gonna reroll okay I got a seven again so seven on Zed's times two is zero oh and three all right I gotta roll for my hits didn't take it didn't take it and took it and now he's going to have to go to the hospital okay so they will move up here they will move there we have to put chaos token here okay down here all right we're gonna have a fight oh let's do the, I forgot to do the infection for them okay so times two however uh, column shift is going to give us equal that dice sucks on all that that's ten so three and one okay so we're gonna flip these guys they take one hit but we might can yeah and they don't take the hit so they're good okay tunnel track let's see what we have here we'll roll for that one first case stays there this one he stays there this one's going to move and this one's moving all right play during the action phase and place a new regular or heroic civilians unit in the, of your choice in the town center all right first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly draw a civilian units so let me do that okay so I got the FD 129 auxiliaries as an action, roll two dice to attempt to push back one Z unit from an adjacent space if that unit's unit strength is less than or equal to the two dice that is forced to retreat one space. This unit receives a one to the right shift in all hand-to-hand -hand combat. Once per action phase, this unit may spend its civic authority action marker when it is on or adjacent to a village space to release one unit in that village. It can either remove one defiant marker from the, or flip a village unit to its refugee side. Uh, uh, that's not really going to come in handy now. Okay. And since this was a hold for later card I played, I can do uh, Old Darling here. And um, I'm going to try to do a um, Assassin Strike. And I do. So let's do Assassin Strike here. We are no terrain shifts, but it's six. So it's, it's just... Um, Zed's times two. God damn it, three. So that's not going to do anything. But you know, it's basically a free thing. We only have to do the infection. Okay. So I have one regular action 
and one player action um, I'm going to spend a supply and heal Sheriff Hunt that will reduce the infection but I'm going to want him at full strength so I'm going to keep him there that's my action and then I gotta forge with my other action and I don't make it that's six okay all right yeah man you know what did I did I forget the National Guard to move let's say I forgot to move the National Guard one space I think I did all right here we go what there's more okay two on the four R phase okay so let's go ahead and move these guys to the town center and then they're going to go to the refugee camp and we're going to get a rumor for that however the infection is going to uh, go up one and this is mystic pendant a see what that means okay any die roll directly involving this unit can be changed to a five the ability only applies once per turn even if the chit is transferred to another unit okay let's figure out where this is going to go this is going to go to the forest um, With the strong Zed's unit or mob on the track, that's going to be this space right here. And then, of course, this is immediately suffer no penalty if you don't have the entire. Well, we just lose our ammo. Okay, that's not very good. Okay, and the National Guard will move up. So let's go ahead and do the infection phase, and they will fight, and they have human advantage. And they roll a 9. Actually, they have uh, human times two. So they do three hits. So they're going to push these guys back and flip them, which is good. All right. Uh, no. And then on the eat, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, I rolled a five. So we got actually really lucky on the eat. So that's good. All Zeds. At the beginning of this phase, return each Zed unit on a name space to its full strength side. Uh, okay. Uh, shoot. These guys. Uh, they're not on a name space. They are not on a name space. They are not on a name space. And they're already strength. Okay. Remove all hit markers from Zed's units. Uh, I don't have any hit markers on any Zed's units. Okay, and all the Zeds are going to move, and we're going to get two actions to do this. Okay, so let's start down here. Of course, they're going to move. Boom. Boom. And boom. And boom. And we've got to put a chaos marker there. Okay, so let's start up here. It's raising infection level. Well, hold on. We get to see if Alyssa does her thing. She... What is it? Move back one space or fight normally. We'll move her back one space. So we'll just, we won't do that. So they'll move here. 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 And here. Okay, up here. All right, these guys are moving. Alright, and these guys are moving. Let's raise the infection. National Guard, they're going to be times two, times three. And we rolled a five. And they take three hits, so they're dead. And the National Guard takes one hit. Okay. Alright, here. Alright, so now we're going to have another Super Zeds outbreak. This is going to be the forest. 
and I'm going to have to put this in the start space. And these are these wear Zeds. Alright, let's roll the die and see how down this thing goes. Six. Alright, so it goes back to seven. And we have a hold for later card, so that's pretty good. That's that. Yeah, they fell for it this time. Okay. Uh, Alright, so here we go. Let's see, six times two, but it's going to be equal to. And we got nine. Ah, actually, yeah. It's 12, so it's times 2, but then a true terrain shift. It's going to be equal to, and it's going to be 9, 2 to 1. So these guys are going to take 2. And let's see if we can get rid of their hit. Yeah, that hit is canceled. All right. And now we have these guys. Let's see this one unit here. He will remain. This five unit, he will remain. This one will move, and this one will move. Okay. So that whew, is it. Okay. Uh, I have two actions. So let me think about what I want to do here. Um. I got a forge, man. No. No. And then my player action. God almighty. I'm going to have to move these guys here. I'm just going to have to do that. That's, that's all I can do. And uh, that's the end of the turn now we do restore order here the National Guard does restore some order there so that's good we get chaos marker back that means the infection is going to go up one uh, yeah next turn Petra's Angels motorcycle gain alright two on the um, 4R so the National Guard is actually going to move here to the mine we have to roll for an outbreak we rolled a nine that's good we don't get an eat we rolled a five again so we got lucky on that and we have two on the highway track okay Okay, so here we go. Two on the highway track. That's our best track. So let's go to the infection. They're going to move up. And we rolled an 11. So we are equal to 3 and 1. So what's going to happen is they're dead. And they're going to take 2. And those are those V guys. And I think that's just... Ravengers. These are the Ravengers, right? Yeah. See. Yeah, okay. So that's fine. Alright. And then they're going to attack again. So we have to raise the infection up again. This time we have Zed's advantage, but then it's going to go to two to you. Well, let's first do our hit. Okay, so they have to take that hit normally. So they're actually going to flip. So they're at three. Okay, so it's it's ugh, it's Zeds times two, but then two to human advantage, and we rolled a five. Ugh. It's equal to five, one and two. Okay, this is actually going to kill these guys right here. So this Super Zed unit is dead. But we took two hits. We ignore one. And we take the other one regular, so we're one hit away from being killed. All right, we get three actions. At the beginning of this phase, place the Petrus Angels units in town center. Minus one supply. Okay, well, we don't have to suffer any penalties for that. So let me get Petrus Angels. Uh, 
Uh, they are the motorcycle guys. Here we go. Yeah, all right, I'll take them. They're not a, spe a special thing. Uh, we don't have a special card or nothing for them. We just, we just take them, you know. They're just regular guys, I guess. But they're going to help us out. So we have three actions. And I need to forge. Man, I, I, God, I got to get some success on these forges here. So. No. Ah. Yes. So one supply. No. Yes, two supplies. So I have two supplies. All right. And then that's going to be it for my turn. The National Guard, though, will restore order here. So the infection level does go up one. But we get to remove a chaos marker. Okay. Up next, research materials. One on the 4R. Okay. So the National Guard is going to move. And they're going to move here. All right, we're going to have an infection. They're going to fight. So that's 10 and 12. So it's going to be, actually, it's going to be uh, Zed's advantage. But we rolled an 11. Two to one. So we're going to take a hit. And they're going to take two hits. And they're going to actually retreat, which is actually going to put a chaos marker back there. Yeah, it's fine. That's where we're going. Okay, roll for outbreak. We probably certainly are. 11. Yep. So we're going to go all the way down to 1. But we're going to have a new outbreak, and it's going to be at the tunnel. And we're going to put it here at the lab. Actually, put it here. It's a 9 one. Ooh. Hold for later. Huh, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna like that. <clears throat> All right, and let's see here. No eat, and we have Zed's movement here on the forest track, which is fine. We're gonna get to do Alyssa Darling's thing. Three. Okay. All right. So she will roll oh, five. <clears throat> Said times two, five. Okay, no hits, but she retreats and they move forward. So they move forward. They move forward. This one moves. And that one moves. Or do the where's it? How many spaces do they move? Okay, they moved twice, so I forgot that. But so I'll give them another space, so they'll, they'll move there. Okay, and that is the forest. Now the catacombs track. See this one unit? He remains there. This five unit, he's moving. So we're gonna put the infection up, and it's equal. Going to be equal to. And we rolled a nine. So equal two on nine is two and one. So they're going to take two hits and move back. And we're going to take one hit and flip. Okay. These guys are going to move here. Let's roll for these guys. They're going to move normally. These guys are going to move here. And that's it. And then we have the mountain track. <clears throat> which now these guys are going to move and fight the National Guard. So they're going to fight here. And we rolled an 8. And that is uh, Zed's advantage. 2 and 2. So the Zeds are going to retreat again. However, they're going to flip. And they're going to take 1 damage. And they're going to take two damage. So one and one. Okay. 
And then we have two actions. At the end of this phase, if a player unit is at the nuclear space, turn over the next card in the research. Uh, no. I could put the goodies marker there. Card in the research deck free. Okay. Now, I think, <clears throat> let me play this. During the action phase, heal any single civilian unit in the hospital for free. So I'm going to heal these guys for free. And it's going to put them in town center. So we're going to minus the infection. Then place on a boat. Not, that is not, okay, that's fine. We did that. Um, I can place them anywhere. And you know what? Well... I will place them I will place them at the nuclear plant to get goodies how about that and that means that at the end of the turn we can flip over the first card of the research deck for free even though we don't have any research people okay that's fine let's do that and we get the early research we'll look at that minus two infection so it goes down to zero okay next event brains Ugh. all right let's dump the infection twice <clears throat> all tracks activate with each zed unit advancing one space okay I'm going to try to stop this unit from activating First, I want to play the yeah, they fell for it this time. So they're not going to activate. So these guys will activate, but they're not going to activate. And let's see if I can keep the card. I cannot. I have to discard the card. Okay, so that's that track. Now, these guys are going to activate and try to fight Alyssa, but she can do her thing. She does. So six. Okay. However, I'm going to play this card. Play to eliminate any one unit as it tries to enter a town space. And I'm going to eliminate this unit right here. So, he's going to come here. She's going to have a, let's see, it's human times one, uh, human advantage. And that's an eight. And she does three hits to it, so it's going to flip. Let's put the infection up. She takes a hit. Is she rugged? Actually, no. She did her uh, strike thing. Yeah, that's right, because I rolled a six. So, that's fine. Um, and then we'll move this one, and this one, and this one. This one can't actually go in there, so kind of stuck back there okay these guys are gonna go and they're gonna attack the National Guard so let's raise the infection all right so six so that's uh, Zed's advantage six one and three and we have to retreat so they have to retreat so they're take they're actually dead the National Guard is so the National Guard got wiped out. And these guys took one hit. Okay. So they moved there. And then they would activate again and move there. And that would be the end of that. Okay. Then we don't have anybody on this track. So we have to put a unit down here. So let's do that. Take the goodies markers off. Okay. Okay. Then the tunnel track. Again, we have all these guys here, so let's see what this one guy is going to do. He's going to move. So we're going to raise the infection, but we have human times three, four. That's <laughs> still good enough to kill him, though. Actually not. Still good enough to make him retreat. Times two, and then one. Okay. Then this unit's going to roll to see what we're going to do. 
they're staying. Then the nine unit, they're moving. So the infection is going up, and I'm pretty sure they're going to kill them now. Okay, so that's uh, human times three, but times two on the shift. We rolled a nine, one, and two. So they're going to die. They're going to take one hit, and then they're going to move here. <clears throat> and let's do our save. They don't say so the red diamond security is dead. These guys are going to move here. Let's see what these guys do. Four. So they're going to remain there. And then that's it. And we've got to put a chaos marker right there. Okay. Well, that's... And we have to draw another event card. So things are not looking real good. Hospital efficiency. Two on the 4R. Well, there's nothing doing there. Roll for infection. We got a five. So we are going to get an infection. Let's see where it's going to be at. Okay, play to negate any future. Okay, the suburbs. Okay. I eat. We rolled a six, so no. Okay. Let's do our Zeds. We have the suburbs track. Okay. So we can do their fire thing. So it says, as an action, that's not an action. So we have to actually combat these guys. So let's roll the infection level up. We are times three but we do get a two so it's going to be it's going to be equal to because we did a column shift and rolled a five that's not good one and two jeez so they're going to push us back and flip us and these guys are going to come here and they're going to take two damage and these guys are going to move and then these guys are going to move and these guys are going to move Next track is the mountain track. Okay, well these guys are going to move. So they're closing in. Next is the highway track. And that's it. And we get two actions. Choose one. Two free heal actions. When no, okay. I'm going to do that. We're going to heal the sheriff. And he's coming out. And we're going to heal El Toro Loco. And he's actually going to... Yeah, I got to put him there. All right, so there. And that's it. All right, two actions. Okay. Eesh. Okay. Um... Boy, we're in some serious trouble. Okay, I'm moving Sheriff Hunt here. That's one action. And I'm going to have him move this civilian's unit to attack those guys. Okay, so I got a seven, and it's going to be Zed's advantage, one and two. So these guys are going to die, but these guys die. All right, let's roll for save, and we don't save them, so they're dead. So all we have is that there. Okay, and then I'm going to spin another action to move El Toro Local here. Ooh, yeah, here. And then I'm going to spin my last player action, and we're going to move the angels here. One, but it's going to be human advantage. We're going to raise the infection level up. Okay, that's five. Two and two. They have to retreat. So we have to flip these guys. These guys are going to take two. And so they're going to push them back, and then they're going to push them back. 
and they take two. It's not good. And that is it for our actions. Okay. Next turn. I hate it when that happens. No 4R. Let's do the infection. We got an 8, so we're good. Eat. Nope. Alright, highway track. Okay, so let's start. We've got a highway track here. So the infection is going to go up. We have a 5 against our 3. But we get a 2 column shift. And that's a 7. So it's going to be uh, human advantage 2 and 1. And they're going to retreat. So they're going to take 2. These guys are going to take 1. That's going to kill them. Let's see if they can save. Yes. So the infection is going to go up. Another. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. See if we can get rid of their hit. No. Okay. So. Let's put them in the hospital. Okay. So that that's okay. Next is the suburbs track. And they're going to move twice. So let's do our first attack. Petra's Angels. Okay, I got an 11, so times 3, but then times 2, so it's just Zed's advantage, 2 and 1. Okay, so these guys are going to take one hit. These guys are going to flip. Take that. Those are leapers. Uh-oh. And they receive no terrain shift, so it's actually I gotta I gotta go back to times three. Okay, they flipped, but they don't take any damage. These guys are gonna die. They're going to move into here. Unless I can do a saving roll, and I can, so Petrus Angels are gonna go saved. Raise the infection up one. And that's the game, folks. I tell you that right now. Because the leapers screwed me for no terrain shifts. It's because the suburb track is going to move twice. So they would have moved, and they would have moved. And then these guys would have moved again, and they're in town center. So we lost. Whew. And we were two cards away. Of course, we had a bad card there. Okay, so you see how much harder this thing can be. We finally lost this one. <laughs> we were doing the roll's been going bad the whole game, so I'm surprised we actually lasted that long. But we only have one more playthrough of this to go, and that's the director's cut version, I guess. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see you next time. So until then, have fun.